everybody and welcome back I know it's been a long time and man I'm just really glad to see that we have some new subscribers last time I made a video I think we had maybe 45 maybe 43 and now we've already made it to 52 yes it's awesome I'm super glad I'm super glad um, I don't know what videos catching on but I don't know if it's from the gaming epic or the anime epic or where but we sure are getting some attention a little bit hopefully we can get a little bit more Alright, that's to where we left off. Um, Rimu's mom had just thrown the bouquet, and now I have to pick who... Who gets it? <sighs> Rio's in. It landed right in Kaguya-san's hands. Yeah! Get it! <laughs> oh, girls calling each other's eyes out for a stupid bouquet. <sighs> However, Kaguya-san wasn't showing any reaction. Don't give it away! I made the choice to give it to you! And even said that. Don't say that. Just accept it. Besides, that would be rude to Yoshiko-san too. Yeah, yeah, you keep it. Kaguya-san looked a bit uncomfortable about it. Practicing. Congratulations. Everyone shouted congratulations following Kanade's cue. Tamano san and Yoshiko san looked truly happy that they received everyone's blessing. But most of all, they were happy to receive Rimu chan's approval. I'm glad it turned out to be a great ceremony. Even after everyone had left and gone home, Rimu chan didn't try to leave. Rimu-chan, you're not going home either? Oh. Oh, I get it. Rimu-chan was trying to show them some consideration. I was surprised that she thought that far ahead. Then are you going to stay here tonight? Yeah, you're gonna get your own little something tonight. She sat on a chair in the center of the hall, staring at the no longer lit up stage. What are you thinking about? I don't know. I recalled her saying the same thing right after the concert, too. Had she been thinking about it this entire time? Don't you think it's because you worked with others? That's... As I was trying to think of how to answer that, I saw a person on stage. It was going to some. You were still here? Uh, I never said that. Gondasan looked down at Rimuchan from on stage, like a teacher standing at the podium. That's right. Rimuchan asked me. He means the possibilities that lie within it, I think. Hmm. That's a pretty blunt way of putting it. <laughs> Don't joke around. Mm. It's true. 
お前は誰かに残さないのかゴンドさんの話は、もう少し難しいです。でも、リムちゃんは、思い出を考えていると、思い出を考えていると。うーん、頭が沸騰しそう。Oh. <laughs> She grabbed her head from thinking too hard, though. <laughs> well, you don't have to think about it so hard, do you? Between playing by yourself and playing with us today, which felt better? I guess. It was fun for me too. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Was it? That's good. I'm glad Rimu chan's enjoyed it too. In that case, why don't you keep playing together with us? If you do, I'm sure the fun will keep going, alright? It was fun for me too. I really did want to play with Rimu chan again. Wasn't Rimu chan feeling the same way? <laughs> really? I clenched my fists at Rimu chan's words. Then will you come to practice too? We have the studio reserved for tomorrow as well. You're free every day. Really? Great! That's a promise. Okay, Alright, now we're really making progress. If I can get her to spend more time with us, then I'm sure our band will become irreplaceable to Rimu chan's too. I was confident of that. However, God damn it. This is the, there's a lot of anger in this room. Look at Yayoi chan and Kona san. They're like, oh, damn it. Rimu chan had already broken her promise. Damn it. She didn't come to practice. My confidence. I guess people can't change that easily. One step forward, two steps back, huh? Okay, thanks for today. Practice ended as we went outside. No! <laughs> it's still too early to give up. I'll tell her to come to our next practice. Please, be hopeful. Rimu-chan truly popped up out of nowhere. She looks confused. Rimu-chan! But you did come. Rimu-chan, you didn't keep your promise. But at least she actually came. まあ、遅刻でもスタジオ代は折半だからな。え、今日はリムスタジオ一歩も入ってないのに。当然でしょ。同じバンドのメンバーなんだから。しかも下っ端。リムお金持ってないってば。That is a problem. Yeah, good. Good. Now we really are one step forward. Right? Deardrops! Yeah, look how happy they are now! Yahoo! With Rimuchan added in, the band sound gained more depth. I knew having Rimuchan join wouldn't be a mistake. However, compared to the other three, who were happily performing with ease, I alone was desperate. It was hard to keep to keep up with them. Rimuchan seemed to have learned the fun of performing with others by this point. And as a result, the sound of her drums had been changing bit by bit. 
with t the tug of that of the of that drumming, Yayoi's chanted guitar was gaining more of an edge. She really was enjoying her performance. This was Yayoi's guitar when she was serious and holding nothing back. It really did feel like sh she was one with her guitar. I'm sure she'll probably be even more amazing in the concert. Compared to that, our rhythm guitar, me, was just barely following the score. It was like having one little leaguer mixed in a pro baseball team. Uh, I couldn't keep up with Rimo Chan and going to Son's rhythm. It was rough. It was harsh. It was frustrating. Yes, um, I'm sorry. But for some reason, I couldn't stop smiling, even though it was harsh. It was fun. What was this feeling? The music from those three rang inside my body. It felt like that sound was excavating some strange special emotion from deep within me. Our sound was still rough around the edges, but it was steadily coming together. Wasn't this amazing? It was fun. And that made me smile. <laughs> right, I'll do my best. I have to work hard and keep up with these people. If I don't do that, then I'm sure something amazing will happen. And then all that's missing is... Bonus on send after practice was over. It was unusual to hear praise from him. Ugh. I guess he couldn't just offer praise. It was, his, it was his roundabout way of saying I was a hindrance. It was frustrating, but I couldn't argue against the truth. It doesn't seem like it's only a month, but it didn't mean I was good. In other words, I guess I'm dragging everyone else down. I knew that painfully well myself, though. I'll do it. I couldn't say I couldn't do it or wouldn't make it. It was something I started. It wasn't a matter of could or couldn't. I'd just do it. Gondasan-sen, cynically picking up his base. At least, put up a fight, huh? I'll be sure to do just that. But I'm already struggling enough as it is. I was already worn out from being in this studio. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yay! Oh, you don't look like you're that tired either, Yayoi chan. After always holding back when playing with others, Yayoi chan was having a lot of fun playing the guitar to her heart's content. I guess you don't get tired no matter how long you play, as long as it's fun. You run? She flexed the muscles in her thin arms. Be it Godasan or Rimochan, everyone had a lot of stamina. Maybe it would be good for me too to do some more physical training too. But right now, I didn't have the time for that. The concert with San Mejima san was almost here. God, oh! Yoyo, ne? Oh, I hate that name! Yayoi-chan Yayo said exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it is. Eiji-san mo itte ta kedo, watashi mo saikin omou nda. Watashi ta chitte, angai ii bando ni naru nja nai ka na Yayoi-chan said bashfully. 
全然まだまとまってるとか言えないしむしろバラバラなのかもしれないけどさそれでもみんなでさっきみたいに練習してる時とか無心でギター弾いてるとふっとそんな風に思ったりするんだな Does it? Same here. I felt the same way. Even if we're not there yet, we can become a great band someday. And by that time, we should have more members together with us. One more member. Yeah. yeah, me too. I really was looking forward to it. I wanted lots of people to listen to our performance soon. Kaguya san, most of all. I wonder if Kaguya san will feel anything when she listens to our performance. Probably not, because she's freaking stone cold. Then came the eve of our concert. Dang, that was fast. A week went by fast. After closing up shop, I sat alone in the hall, going over the song for the last time. Yeah. My body has it memorized. But that was the. That was only on the level of. I can play it as the score reads. Still, that meant I had it drilled into myself enough to be able to play it. As the score reads, even if I lost consciousness. Alright. Let's go over it once more. What? Yes, Kanade, I'm still here. It was Kanade. She probably came to see why there was still a light on this late. You're still here, Kanade? The date had already changed. She was working this late up in the office? With the concert tomorrow, I couldn't seem to settle down. Kanade smiled. Don't tease me. What's the meaning you're going for? I didn't know which one she wanted, but I had a feeling that one was really wrong. I felt a bit at ease when I watched Kanade get flustered. Does it? I'm glad to hear that. It was proof of my my body was growing accustomed to the guitar. Quit asking me! I don't want to talk about it! Kanade asked hesitantly. I couldn't tell. I could tell she was trying to be considerate. Uh, I told you, I already given up on the violin. Right now, I want to focus on just the guitar. She smiled, but she looked worried. There wasn't any need to worry that much, but Kanade often worried. Come on, it's not like I was playing the violin because I liked it. Before I knew it, I was being forced to play. Yeah. My father simply wanted to make his son play an instrument so he could brag about it to the others. I just happened to keep up with it. That was all. But the guitar is different. It's something I decided to play myself. Even though I started by coincidence, I chose to continue with it. That's why I strongly wanted to focus on it now. Mm, but Kanade tilted her head. Kanade said, finishing through her memory, or fishing through her memory. I don't know what kind of scene played before, but she smiled very happily. Is that true? Had I liked the violin at one point? I hardly knew anymore. When was the last time I played the violin? It already felt like forever ago. But anyway, I need to work hard on the guitar now. I'm the only beginner. No, thanks to you, I'm a little less nervous. Thanks for always worrying about me. 
And that's all we're gonna be, Kanade. My acquaintance with Kanade was as old as with the violin. Before I knew it, she was my childhood friend. You haven't changed, Kanade. Neither has this place. I never noticed that having something which always remained unchanged was so comforting until recently. You completely forget or forgot about them when it's smooth sailing. But when you stumble, stand still, and look back for the first time, you remember them. <laughs> Kanade said so softly. Something about that tugged at me. What's wrong? <laughs> Kanade gave me a brave pose. Yeah, I'll do my best. Well, I'll play it once more. So could you tell me what you think? <laughs> the Lifehouse Saj- Ah, damn it, I hate his name! The Lifehouse, Samajima-san, picked up- Picked out was anti knock in Shinjuku. anti knock Shinjuku, whatever. It was an old live house known as the Holy Ground, situated underground beneath a prominent commercial building along Meiji Dori. The venue was filled with a unique air that made you feel the history here. It made me tense up as I felt like the place itself had a will of its own that was sizing me up. It felt a lot different than our place. I guess there are all kinds of places, there are all kinds of live houses. Apparently, Samajima-san's band plays here often. Oh, you bitch! Samajima-san, <laughs> damn it! Samajima-san came up to me, look, uh, as if he was looking around. He was used to being here and visibly filled with confidence. His expression said that he uh, thought he couldn't lose. <laughs> Kakuya-san called us stupid as soon as she appeared. What a way to greet someone. Yeah, you do that. She's as pro provocative as always. Once this girl begins to sing, one forgets all about that. There he goes, going to sign, that's true. Kaguya-san angrily rebutted Gondo-san's joke. It happened all the time, so she was starting to get used to it by now. Kanade came along with us and settled the storm, the stormy air between us. She was a good mood setter. I'm glad I brought her with us. Kaguya-san said to drive her point home. Samajima-san probably overcame her resistance to get her here today, but she really did intend to end it today. Yeah, Riho I don't count on it. Kaguya-san turned around and left. She is splendidly in a splendidly bad mood today. He must really think that, since he winked her, winked at her when she said that. He is a happy fellow. I nodded in agreement as Gonasan spoke softly with the pity in his voice. And I'll say the same thing right back at you. We weren't the same people Samajima san knew. Samajima san's band may be one with great ability. But we don't have the faintest intent of losing either. Let the showdown begin! 
our rehearsal ended, and the real deal was almost here. I think so. Not much longer. But you said the same thing 30 seconds ago. Yayoi chan has been saying the same thing several times now. As well as pacing back and forth, unable to calm down. Yayoi chan, why don't you calm down some? Even though Yayoi Chan was usually bold, I guess she was still nervous about today. Is it her first live house? I guess it's. Uh, I guess it's useless to tell you not to be nervous. Bitch, I played orchestras. Sorry, I'm. I'm bad, but I'm not exactly calm either. Of course, I was nervous. But I wanted to go out there and stand on that stage more. Kanate came to call us. Yayoi chan's mood sank. Yes, yes. Well, we'll be fine. We're all together. Oh, shit. Kanade looked over everyone. No! God damn it, Rimu chan! Huh? <laughs>